marked by the continuous exclusion of the Southeast in the Nigeria's project, a group known as Southeast Response Team appears to have concluded plans for a nationwide protest over non inclusion of the Southeast in the recently approved $22.7 billion loan for President Muhammadu Buhari by the National Assembly. The group also vowed that President Muhammadu Buhari will never assess the loan until they are sure of Igbo interest in the entire project, which led to the approval of the loan by the National Assembly. Investigations by Saturday Independence revealed that Igbo groups, including Southeast National Assembly Kakos, Oranis Dindigbu, Pro Biafra organizations have keyed into the protest plan against Igbo marginalization. Though details of the protest plan was sketchy, but the protest is expected to take place in the five states of the Southeast and Abuja being the Nigeria's capital territory on a date yet to be announced by the group. Because that the National Assembly early in March 2020 approved Nigeria's $22.7 billion loan for projects and services in the six geopolitical zones. The sum was shared among five zones to the exclusion of the Southeast Zone. Southwest got $200 million. South, South got $4.2 billion. Northwest $6.3 billion. And also Northeast $300 million. North Central $6.5 billion. And Southeast $0. Hmm. Prior to the said approval, the Senate President Ahmad Lawan wanted a blanket approval based on the recommendations in the report to vote and approve. The mode of adopting the report by the Senate residents, Senate President was rejected by the Senate Minority Leader, Senator Inaya Abaribe. Senator Abaribe was of the view that the various components of the loan should be subjected to scrutiny to determine projects that would be useful to the nation's economy. Abaribe said that there are some aspects of the loan that he was not comfortable with, saying, I want to ask on, my, on behalf of our colleagues here that we take these items one by one and vote on them. If we notice any lopsidedness, I think it may not just be for this Senate to just impair the progress, but it is important that it takes note of areas that are left out and then in the next phase we consider them. Senator Rocha Zokorocha also of, was of the view that the people of the Southeast are not being carried along and warned that it has its, it has its consequences. Saying, I want to say that the people of the Southeast no longer feel they are part of the Nigeria's project and it can be very dangerous. There is this un undefined impression that the leaders are suppressing the peace-loving Nigerians of the Southeast extraction. These are the only group you find everywhere in Nigeria, building bridges of friendship, helping to develop the nation's economy. Anything given to the Southeast is given to Nigerians. Igbo contributes 70% of Nigeria's unity, yet they are the most misunderstood people. And I want to make this passionate appeal that this feeling of neglect and marginalization against the Igbo of the Southeast should be corrected. $22.7 billion loan approved by this Senate and nothing is being traced to the Southeast is painful. The people feel rejected in the nation they are part of and contributed to its economy. Speaking with the leader of the Southeast response team, Comrade Aku Obidima, he told Saturday Independent that his group has con concluded plans to march against Igbo marginalization on $22.7 billion loan approved by the National, National Assembly for President Buhari. He described the situation as wicked for anybody to think of borrowing huge sum of money on behalf of Nigeria without considering the fact that Nigeria was founded on tripod stand. There is no Igbo man who will say no to this, to this struggle. I am in touch with members of the National Assembly where the process started at the floor of the Red and Green Chambers, respectively. Our National Assembly members of Igbo extraction have done their best. Therefore, we must give them support back home. 
I am in touch with Oranese Indigo social cultural organizations and pro Biafra groups to peaceful march on the streets of the southeast. It is not a proper, it is not a protest for Republic of Biafra, but a protest for the survivor of Igbo and stop forth with the unnecessary intimidation and total exclusion from the Nigeria's projects. Out of the $22.7 billion loan, a sum of $17 billion is proposed to be borrowed from China Exim Bank. It was gathered. Other lenders are World Bank, uh, $2.8 billion, African Development Bank, $1.8 billion, Islamic Development Bank, $110 million, GICA, $200 million, German Development Bank, $200 million, and AFB, $480 million. So we will reach out to all lenders of this money to express to them on how we were unjustly excluded from the said loan. So guys, that is the latest thing uh, the, uh, that the Southeast uh, people are going to be doing, uh, going on, on protests. You know, when we are talking all of this, is uh, does it mean in a sane environment? Because up to this moment, this, when this thing firstly came out, when we talked about this thing, we saw all of those things. Zero dollar was accrued or was allocated to the Southeast. We were thinking maybe the people who raised that say. Uh, that's a uh, argument or that uh, whatever that matter we thought oh, maybe they are just trying to uh, make up things or maybe they've not been able to get the details of everything and uh, maybe they are still coming out or working on something to be able to know oh you all guys are making mistake ah who told you that we are not even including the south is there we are doing some things and some things and all of that it's been how many months now so up to this moment so if you see that zero dollar that has, is still allocated to them then what is now happening? You know, they would tell you that uh, they are making up things. Just like uh, the presidency is crying out now that, uh, oh, uh, Namde Kano is trying to make up things or start trying to say things that are not happening in Nigeria that it's like, you know, it's like, like a line against them saying what is untrue. So what do we call this? Because everything they would deny, something that is so glaring, those who are always uh, jumping up to say, oh, these people are just trying to make noise, they are just trying to divide the country. So what does this mean? Because I was thinking that maybe the government was trying to put up some things in place that maybe they had not concluded their arrangements, that the people are just jumping into conclusion, or maybe the first time, of course, maybe they didn't allocate or budget money to that area. Maybe the government was working on, on something. So up to this moment, you know, giving them the benefit of the doubt, but up to this moment, nothing has still been allocated to them. Up to this moment, not that they were trying to arrange things or they are trying to do their calculations. So this one, uh, somebody will not tell you that, uh, oh, uh, uh, the international people or people that they are going to, uh, that are going to be talking on this matter they are not in nigeria they don't know what is happening those who are always jumping at these people a lot of things have been happening just as some people don't want to see it they just believe that mm, if there if something is wrong just forget about it you just move on and that is the reason why people don't even reason or think deeply they will just say things that are even very painful happening to people painful hurting people they will tell you forget it let's just move on mm, yeah, god will provide that even if they don't give you uh, you have been doing it. it doesn't work that way because at the end of the day like the statement the president made the other time that five percent and ninety seven percent those who contributed, how can that be? Because those who those who did not vote for you by constitution by law, they have no right not to pay their taxes. They have no right not to pay whatever they are supposed to be paid as a citizen. Then you, as a government or as a president, you are telling us that uh, you are not. You see your father's money or your personal property or which work have you done that you you want to use to feed Nigeria or to to fund Nigeria, that you are now saying those who gave you this thing. And so also, everybody cannot vote for you. I don't know the kind of this mindset. At the end of the day, they will be blaming these people that they are, they are going overboard. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Most they protest before this kind of a thing will happen in the first place. Must he get to this level? Must he get to this level before they will know what to do? So they are going to be begging them. This is absolutely, I don't understand. Very, very irresponsible of the government. Most people, must they go on protest before things will be done? Why? It's, un it's unfortunate. Anyone can easily read the handwriting on the wall. What they are telling us that you are on your own. 
looks such, uh, such a huge amount from the best donors in the world and none of South East and other and those are deemed to have them seem to be comfortable with that although the National Assembly is against it now but who shared it in that lopsided manner in the first place it is good as all South East organizations without exception are united in this and this is what is expected always in pursuit of noble cause it's not supposed to get to that level it's unfortunate it is irresponsible of the government for them to put people to this to, to this and begin to before they start doing uh, what they need to do that people will be forced to go on the street for what that is even uh, uh, wasting people's time what you need to do what okay are they giving us reason like somebody is asking is it, this is not the same uh, national assembly that they share the money that share the money were they not part of the uh, the whole thing so why are they not doing as if uh, there's one big deal or were they they were they under duress not to have included southeast there that they are not telling us now that uh, okay they are supporting it it's unfortunate because this thing is not supposed to be coming up in the first place a lot of people are supposed to be doing things they need that day they are going to be protesting they're supposed to be using it to, to be making money and doing their business why must he get to that level that they'll not be wasting their time to go and be protesting for what ordinarily not supposed to be. Hmm. Nigeria has already fallen. Kudos to Mazen Namdekano and IPOP. Biafra is already here. Uh, your Nigeria, no president, no vice president, and a lot of things are going on. Sat is wake up from your sleep. You are not Nigeria. Fight for Biafra freedom and free yourself from bad news of Nigeria. Okay. And someone said that's why we need a Biafra. And it must come. I support those agitating for, for protests on this one. When repayments of the loan will be made, crude oil from South East will form part of the process of payments. To me, it's, it's, it's really annoying. This thing is not supposed to get to this level. Then they should tell us the reason, the reason why they didn't do this, why they didn't include them. It should be what people are supposed to be asking. All of those people that always jump and begin to uh, lash uh, the uh, pro Biafra, all of those ones, they will not say anything now. How can this kind of a thing be happening and you expect the people to keep quiet? It's unfortunate. So guys, let's hear your opinion. Leave your comment below in the comment section and let's have your take. Thank you.